Is this working? We'll find out in a minute. Oh my gosh, I've never been this nervous in like five minutes, I have to say. Really hope I'm live. <laughs> Hi everybody, I've just been reading your chat, I swear. Just been like just sitting here for five minutes, just being a bit, it's a bit weird just to wait to go live. But here we go. Can you hear me? Can you all see me? Excellent. Yes, the chat's working too. I can now see comments of people saying it's working. Perfect. Excellent. I've definitely been like blackmailing people into attending my stream so I wouldn't end up on my own here. <laughs> so awesome to see you all here. That's so exciting. Basically, I just kind of wanted to have a stream and like kind of just talk about like the rumors that I've been flying around about the new like Lego set things that are coming this summer. Basically yesterday I sat down and I was like, oh, maybe I'll just make a video about it, talking about it. And I basically ended up talking to myself for about half an hour, not making any sense. And I thought, do you know what? Let's just have a chat with the people. I can, we can talk about what we will think and, and what's kind of rumoured to come out and just kind of the complete different wave that we seem to be getting this summer. I think we're all set up for Deathly Hallows and all of a sudden, like, here we are, like, legacy Harry Potter, which, you know, came a bit out of left field for me. Maybe maybe I was silly not to expect it, but I think my initial reaction was more, oh, I'm not sure if I like this. I think the longer I think about it, the more I'm like, hmm, maybe it's okay. <laughs> also, yes, thank you, Mrs. Brickinit, for saying that. There is indeed a delay between like you hearing me and like the chat. So um, if I answer your question, it'll probably be like 30 seconds before you can even see it. Awesome to have you here, by the way, Steph. Thank you so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Um, also, hi, Simon. That's really cool. So basically, yes, like, feel free to put any questions that you have or any thoughts about, like, the new sets in the comments. But I think maybe I'll just start off by sort of talking around my thoughts and sort of my initial reaction and kind of maybe how it's, like, evolved since the news came out. So as I kind of just touched upon before, I was sort of all set up for like death, they had a scene as like, ooh, are we getting the tent? Are we getting like the Gringotts escape? Surely we're getting a Gringotts. Everybody's been talking about it. Like it's definitely lacking from the diagonally. I feel like this has been talked about to death. Um, so basically I was just like so set up for that. And then we started getting like golden figure rumors. And then we started getting rumors about the girl's bathroom and like chamber of secrets. And we we're like, oh, gosh, where's this coming from? Um, not that I was like mad about it, don't get me wrong guys, like I love the old sets, like I love Lego Harry Potter so it doesn't really matter too much, but like yeah it was kind of coming a bit left field and now like the rumours that we got like a few days ago like I was a bit like okay, <laughs> I have to say I tend to be really positive about things and I also tend to really be like you know this is essentially a toy, don't know if that's a bad thing to say, we'll find out but, you know, it's not obviously made for me personally, so it has to appeal to a large amount of people. Um, so it's obviously never going to be exactly what I want, but yes, it was a bit left field. So anyway, just going to try and see what you guys are saying in the chat as well. This is this is more harder than I thought it was going to be. There's, there's more multitasking involved than I was anticipating. Um, my opinion on the new Great Hall and new Hogwarts expansion line from Jake's portal. So, as you guys, you probably can tell by my reaction that I was a bit mixed feelings about it. Um, the initial rumour of the Great Hall set, I think it was like, it came to me where somebody literally said it's called Great Hall and I was like, we've literally just gotten Great Hall, what are you talking about? And then kind of it became really clear that it, it would be really focused on the Chamber of Secrets underneath. Um, and therefore like the Great Hall was sort of like a, um, like addition to it, like it just happened to sit underneath that. So, so far, sort of what I've heard and sort of like come across, I'm kind of excited. I think it looks great. I'm, I'm here for the like Lego Harry Potter like flashback of like, oh god, like remember back in the day with like when we were all younger and got into Lego Harry Potter and everything had green roofs and like three bricks to hold up the structure and, and non brick builds like fluffy and stuff. <laughs> So basically, I was a bit, like, surprised initially, and now I'm, like, quite excited about it. Is Can there be a bad Lego Harry Potter set, Ethan? Well, well, don't we all want to know? 
I feel like there's plenty of people that would 100% now answer some sort of set that they hate. <coughs> Hedwig. Um, funnily enough, um, the Hedwig is some people's favourite set because they love buildable creatures. Which very happily brings me on to buildable creatures. Well, <laughs> so obviously if you're all in the know and you've heard any latest rumours, and there's been about two million videos at this point, so I'm hoping that most of you are aware of the rumours. Um, but it's obviously said that there's going to be a buildable fox, and also buildable figures between brackets Harry and Hermione. Um, buildable fox on one side for like $70, I think, I think it's rumoured, has potential. If it's like non-weird moving thing, then I probably will be on board. If if it's more like the Hedwig that we currently have, I probably won't be too fast, but let's be honest, it's me and I probably will still end up buying it at some point. Um, can't escape that fact. <laughs> but um, the buildable figures of Harry and Hermione, man, they worry me. Like, I'm not really a fan of like brick built structures that aren't buildings <laughs> in general. I feel like there's probably five million exceptions to this that I'm now forgetting, but in general, yes, I don't think I'm a fan of them. So if we're now actually building like humans, I I, I don't know. Oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> like, I'm not, not sure about it. I know the Mickey and Minnie and they're quite nice, but they're also more expensive, like, than these brick brilled figures of Harry and Hermione that are like, have been rumoured. Um, and I already think that the Mickey and Minnie look a bit odd, but then, um, you know, they're cartoon characters, so you can kind of take creative license. Harry and Hermione are humans and therefore need to resemble some sort of human shape. Um, not sure how they'll achieve that, but you know, who knows? Maybe when photos come out, I'll, I'll change my mind and love them, but at the minute, not sure that will happen. Again, really sorry, I am trying to basically keep my th train of thought as well as look what's going on in the chat, which is maybe not so easy, and I might have to draft and help some time next time so I can actually keep up with what you guys are saying. Slim Jim Lego, buildable humans. <laughs> We've unbuildable buildings, exactly. That's basically what I'm saying. I, I'm a building fan, sort of. May may give that away in the background. I, I'm sorry, like I always have my city in the background and nothing Harry Potter related, which is obviously not ideal for this set, but um, I'm relatively confined in this room. I don't have a lot of room to actually film, so there's always disorientation or nothing. Um, I also have like a really bad light, but at least you can see me because we tried like three or four different setups and I was like not visible. So I'm just keeping up with comments, so like I'm gonna be silent for like two seconds so I can actually read. Elgo collections, like you know I'm gonna buy them all. Yeah, like we were all like having opinions about these things, but there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna end up buying quite a lot of them. <laughs> me included. You know, I have to just admit it. Also, exciting news, I um, purchased the Charms um, set today, so I only actually own one of the Hogwarts Moment set at the minute. It's a Transfiguration classroom, which, mixed feeling, I've had some people asking if I'm going to be doing a review on it. Not sure, I feel like I need to have the whole set before I can actually make a review on it, but I'm a bit lukewarm about them, I don't really think they're for me, though McGonagall is like, chef's kiss, amazing. But yeah, I'm getting the Charms Classroom. Basically, I remember like making my speculation video like ages ago when I was like that person that was like, oh, I have to get on the news and upload straight away. I don't know why I did that. I think I was one of the masses. But anyway, um, I was saying like, I'm totally gonna get the Herbology one first and evidently like the second one is still not Herbology. I love that Herbology set, but I've just built the Herbology greenhouse and I kind of felt like there was no really exclusive minifigures that I didn't have yet. So that's why I decided Charms was better because I really want to see what the, um, the Flitwick, 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 that's not that easy to say, Flitwick looks like, even though I feel like he still needs a hat, but I can, it can purchase a hat, right? There we go. Mrs. Brooke is saying, I'm not sure about the buildable Harry and Hermione. No, me neither. Um, I probably made that quite clear. <laughs> really worried about it. Don't know where they're going with that, because I think in general, if anybody's seen Tommy C. Bricks' video, he did today, I think that was today, yesterday, I think that was a really good encapsulation of kind of what we think is happening. So, um, so if you've heard the rumours, the thought is that we're getting these sort of throwback um, sets of like the ba the Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and like the Great Hall with the Chamber of Secrets and the Forbidden Corridor with the Bilbo Fluffy. And now there's $250 chess set that they've rumoured. 
But what seems to happen, potentially, is they may all fit together, sort of in like the um, 2001, sorry if I said the wrong year, like way of set. So basically, that would be awesome. So it's kind of like a reinvention of that set, which is obviously why it's probably the legacy wave. This is an anniversary and a celebration of like where Lego has come from, Lego Harry Potter in particular, and is now. And actually that sort of idea re really appeals to me. Um, basically the, the, the moment I saw rumours and sort of leaks of the buildings and I saw that they had green roofs I was like oh my god this is gonna divide so many people because personally love the green roofs um think they're great but if you've been investing in getting a big Hogwarts and now it has green roofs like oh my gosh like people are gonna just be like what the hell man like <laughs> this is not compatible but I know for a fact um and the Empire Bricks on, I'm hoping I'm saying that right, there's some dashes in between, on Instagram, her Hogwarts is like completely her own design and she uses all the green roofs and it just looks really lovely. Like I really urge you to check out her channel. She's amazing, like she does awesome stuff. Um, I may have to put her link somewhere at some point, um, but she's, she's great. So yeah, you can do a lot with this, but if it's like a modular set where all these little legacy set fit together into one big um, Hogwarts castle, like big, smaller than obviously what we have at the minute, then that would be really cool. But also I feel like, and I think this is what a lot of people have been talking about as well, if these legacy waves that are coming out this summer all fit together to build a Hogwarts castle, people that have now spent two years buying Hogwarts set to build big Hogwarts are maybe going to feel a little bit like annoyed that it took them like way more money to build a similar idea of a Hogwarts castle but anyway that's probably for people to decide and if you don't like the green roofs then I guess the summer wave isn't really gonna be something you like though it's obviously very easy to fix we all can buy bricks with a different colour um let me just read some comments because I feel like I'm massively behind um buildable fluffy northwest bricks yes there's going to be a buildable fluffy I'm so conflicted about it um I love fluffy from the Forbidden Corridors in 2001. I think he's great. I don't own him. He's been on my missing bricks list at Bricklink because basically, this is so boring, I'm so sorry, but basically on Bricklink I maintain like a list of bricks and things that I really want, either like specific legs for minifigures that I'm missing or specific bricks that I like or tiles or whatever. So when I place like a big brick order, I can check if they have any of these things and I can just add them on. Fluffy's been on that forever. Um, no luck so far, but buildable fluffy. I think his heads are probably gonna look really cool because I think they are molded, but I'm not really a fan of buildable characters. I think there's a there's a red line theme here, like buildable characters, I'm out. But anyway, there's also gonna be a buildable um basilisk, and that's gotta be better than the one that we got with the Great Hall before, which seemed to just be like a random afterthought. I don't know what that was. I was so confused. Black snake, I just why? I just don't include it. Anyway. That's probably my most extreme opinion on any Harry Potter set ever, by the way. The fact that it's a black snake and I hate it. But anyway. Um, is there any green in the real Harry Potter? Hmm, yes, I guess so. The forever debate if he needed to have it movie accurate or if he can take creative license. I think you're right. Sorry, that was Donald Bonner that said that. You're right, like I guess a green roof isn't movie accurate, but then if you look at the 2001 sets, um, I feel like movie accurate was definitely not front and centre of their mind. At the time, I suppose Lego is much more focused on it being play sets, it's being with lots of features and things like that. And nowadays we're getting really brilliant um, movie accurate, like beautiful sets with lovely detailing, um, because Lego as a company has obviously evolved in like these 20 years, who'd have thought. So yeah, the green roofs obviously aren't, aren't movie accurate, but I think because it's a legacy, because of this is a legacy line, I think it's kind of nice that they kind of have that nod back. But yeah, it does kind of stand alone from the two years that we've had so far. Do, do, do. Some brightest witch bricks are saying that Tommy's coming out with an amazing fluffy. By the way, Tommy has a great channel. If you've seen his like um, Ford Anglia and his um, what's it called Hogwarts Express, shit, I can't. <laughs> great. I can't find any words at the minute, but yeah, his Hogwarts Express is really great. I've heard rumours as well, because basically we have names of all of the sets that are coming out this summer apart from two, and I've heard rumours that one is going to be a Hogwarts Express again, because the one that came out in 2018, I think, has been retired, and I'm a bit like, 
I'm not sure about that. Like, I can totally get on board with, like, you know, a reimagining of Hogwarts Castle from 2001. I can't really get on board with the train, which in essence really hasn't changed very much from the very beginning. Like, honestly, you compare these two, but they really aren't very different. So I really, really hope it's not a train because I'm going to be a bit like, what? <laughs> First official swear word, Jon Snow. Yeah. Honestly, I'm doing really well so far, I swear. Normally when I'm really nervous, like, these things just happen way, way worse. What do you think the two HP Brickheads are going to be? Brighter Switch Bricks. That is you again. Awesome. Hi. Um, oh, I Basically, I saw that rumours maybe Voldemort and Snape, which would make lots of sense. I kind of feel like that's been lots of focus on McGonagall recently as well, so maybe her. That would be really cool. Maybe some more students to add. It'd be nice to maybe have some... I don't know, personally, I'd like some more obscure figures or something. Like... I would like to say maybe a Dobby, but I think in a Brighead form, Dobby probably would be really odd. But hey, I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm just like looking over to my minifigure display just to get some inspiration. But yeah, I suppose, I think it's probably gonna be teachers. That would make sense. But as some people say, they think Lego doesn't make sense. So maybe it's gonna be like, maybe I'm completely wrong. This is just me and, you know, totally no insider knowledge at all <laughs> speculating, so yeah. Maybe it'll be a creator expert like 18 plus line Hogwarts Express. It could be. It'd be nice if my minifigures could stand up in the train. That'd be... I would be on board with that. Thank you, Ethan, as well. I need to say names of the people that are saying these comments, by the way. But I'm still a little bit like, if it's a train, like... Like, why would I want another train? It'd be nice for extra characters, I suppose. Sorry, I know Northwest Bricks is in this chat and he's probably like, why would you want more trains? Like, everybody needs more trains, but, um, I don't know, the same train may be a bit much. But again, as we have all established, whatever it'll be, I'll probably end up buying it. <laughs> Ooh, somebody else said no Hogwarts Express is coming. I really hope it's not Hogwarts Express. That was from Brother from Another Brick. I really hope you're right. <laughs> um... Let me see. Also, I just kind of wanted to circle back to like the 250, um, pat, well, sorry, dollar, 250 dollar chess set, which is like the most left field announcement of everything. I was, well, maybe aside from the billable brick, like, figures, but 250 pounds for a chess set, I was like, what, the, what, what are you gonna like build for 215, like, dollars? I suppose it would be really cool if it is like, like sort of like an actual chess board you could use to play chess but I really would hope that it does fit into some sort of, like there's like de decor pieces and more Hogwarts stuff around it so you kind of get that sort of extra detailing and like also minifigures like I'm here for the minifigures you may have noticed that I like minifigures I have just made a whole whiteboard full of them just so I can look at them better so more minifigures thumbs up from me so yeah, like, I think that one, initially when the rumour came out, I was really like, oh gosh, like, this whole line is so odd, like, buildable characters everywhere, the chess said, where's my Gringotts? So I think I was initially really disappointed, but I try to, basically, when I'm disappointed, I always, like, try and go and, like, renovate and be like, oh, I'm sure it won't be that bad. And I kind of basically took myself, realistically, like, when, f it's really hard to judge a set by its price and its name you know the moment you start seeing it you know parts of it or maybe when we start seeing how they're building the like chess pieces it could be really cool i do love chess by the way great game excellent thing that i lose at a lot so um maybe good for me who knows um but yeah so basically i feel like the chess set is like something that i really am not sure about i might love it i might hate it but i can't judge that until we actually have like some images to go on really the two unknown sets are 30 and 40 on being a Quidditch set. Yeah, true. I, I have a list, actually. I did sort of prepare, guys. Please, you know. I actually, on my list, have that the two unknown sets are 40 and 140. Um, rather from another brick. So, it's like 76394 and 76397. So, 140 gives a lot of scope, but... As some people were saying, because the buildable figure rumour is Harry and, like, 
Hermione, it kind of feels like Ron's obviously missing, so maybe one of them is that. Really hope it's not, by the way. I also really hope this, like, little figure thing is not real, but it seems to be a reputable source that these people tell me. I'm just going on that for now. Quidditch army, here I come! Yes! Oh my god, I felt so cheated, because I actually um, recently have put together a whole Quidditch and um, uh, and Gryffindor Quidditch like team because I had one Quidditch set and I and I found for like ten pounds like a second Quidditch set so like I couldn't pass that up so I kind of pretty much had like enough figures and then I also had like the old one with Madame Hooch from like I'm gonna say the wrong year here but like two thousand I don't know ten let's go with ten um, the one basically where they wear jumpers so I kind of had like six figures so I bought one more and now I have a whole Quidditch set even though some of them don't have heads yet because I can't find appropriate heads for Angelina Johnson and Alicia Spinette because apparently you can't find darker skin tone heads very easily uh, mildly annoying complete side changing so yeah now now there's gonna be like a whole Quidditch set so I can just get these figures but anyway I will definitely have an army I have to have like the Quidditch and Ravenclaw one as well where did I get the ten pound quidditch set from? Uh, Jake's portal. I I got it from Facebook Marketplace, of which with which I might be slightly obsessed. Um, I'm basically a massive bargain hunter, and sometimes I just go down Facebook market hole like marketplace like rabbit holes. That's the word. Sorry, sometimes I can't find words. Um, yeah, rabbit holes, and uh, I find things. But this one was like just just in a town next to me, so it was like a five minute drive. I stood there outside in a pouring rain and the wind just going like, please give me the Lego. Um, I think the woman was mildly bemused. Mrs. Brickinet says, is a chess set linked to it when they do the chess in the Chamber of Secrets or just a random HP themed chess set? Ah, sorry, yes. So is the chess set linked to something or is it just like a chess set? As far as I understand it, and just because of the £250 price tag, I would really think that it's not just a chess set because that would be insane for the price like they'd have to I don't know cover them in gold or something so I'm assuming it's gonna have like Hogwarts links to it so we can I genuinely believe in the theory that seems to be really popular at the minute where um, they're saying that all these sets all these legacy sets are gonna be linked and you can build that sort of like 2001 version of Hogwarts but with updated reimagined um, Lego set. So that's what I'm going with. I think that that's a sensible theory which would also allow for more minifigures, more exclusive, because this is a director cons like consumer, customer set, so I'm assuming it has to be pretty spectacular, you know? They gave us Diagonelli last year, they've proven they can do it, so that's just my thoughts. <laughs> um, love your le Lego room, it's so cozy. Thank you, Donald, that's very kind of you. Yeah, I mean, it's cozy by like necessity because um, I, I took over the second bedroom, which sounds like our house is massive. It's not. It's not. It's just a normal terraced house. But basically, I was. I took over what not used to be our spare bedroom, but then with COVID, we were both working from home, so we kind of ended up just thinking like, oh gosh, this is not ideal because we were basically both in like the box room, which you know I can I can touch basically both both ends of the room if I wanted to. Um, and we were working from home for like full-time jobs there and um, that didn't work out so I was like I should probably sacrifice the bigger the bigger bedroom so it can be our office which we did and now I have this as my Lego room and actually in a way again I feel like I go down side tangents a lot today but when you have really limited space to work with you get really creative as to how you can fit things in and um, yeah so because for example like I have a I have a dual layer city, but actually it's working out pretty well and it looks quite good. It's impossible to take photos of, but hey, it looks cool to me. <laughs> okay. Brick picks Lego said, funnily enough, the head I have missing is Angelina and Alicia as well because of the re of that reason lol. I think I've, I've used a Cho Chang one for one. Yeah, I've used, um, I don't know, was it Ethan that I was talking to? He was saying that he used an delicious spinet head as well, uh, the Cho Chang head, which is quite useful, I think, but I feel like I wanted to address that in a video at some point, but like the fact that it's like near impossible to get darker skinned faces is mildly annoying and also maybe a problem that we have to look into. Like, 
we can definitely have more darker skinned people represented in Lego sets, but that's a whole different tangent that I'm not sure I'm comfortable touching on at the minute because I don't really feel like I should be the spoke person for that. But it's definitely something that I've crossed my mind because these people are like, you know, definitely like in the movies a lot, so why not just have a few more different characters? But anyway. Dean Thomas, by the way, should definitely have been made into a character at some point in these Hogwarts moments because he was in the CMF series, like why not just have him instead of like... I mean, as much as I loved Shane, Seamus Finnegan again with like his suit face, like I really appreciated that. That could have been Dean Thomas. Um... Roger's Witch Bricks says, your Lego room is wonderful and it's grown so much. Haha, <laughs> yes, I mean, <laughs> the growing so much is definitely an issue. <laughs> I don't know what happened, just kind of I just left this room and all of a sudden it was filled with Lego, just randomly. <laughs> but yeah, um, I am quite proud of it, I have to say, like, it's one of these rooms that I walk into and I'm kind of like, oh my god, I'm like so lucky, I can't believe this is like mine. Also mildly embarrassed. Because of Covid, none of my friends or family have seen this yet, so I feel like when they walk in they're like, what have you done? <laughs> but I'm, I'm willing to take that risk. Um... What else is going on? So basically, yes, there's basically just some talks happening anyway. Somebody's saying, is Leg Lego Lensman was saying Deathly Hallows in 2022. Yes, I haven't actually spoken about that. I think a lot of people were really disappointed that there weren't going to be any, um, basically that there weren't going to be any like Deathly Hallows sets this year and like a lot of people were like, oh god, like that's what we've been like really looking forward to. But I don't think that means that it's never going to happen, like, a Gringotts, I think, is definitely still going to happen. I just think it's likely to happen next year instead. So I'm assuming for the time being we're just going to um, get this really awesome legacy set that's com com completely left field with golden figures, which I'm going to, like, absolutely love. I love the golden figures, it's a massive gimmick, but I don't mind. Um, and then hopefully, like, next year, in Summer Wave, and potentially, like, the smaller waves as well, we're gonna get lots of lovely Deathly Hallow scenes. And also what we have seen is obviously the size of this wave is huge. Like compared to last year, there's so many more sets, which is terrible for my wallet, but it is very exciting. As much as this like as the sets coming are sort of a surprise and not what we were hoping for or thinking we were going to get, it is really exciting that this is a really big wave. It really does show that Lego is invested in this in this line for the time being. And there's a lot of people that love this line, so I'm really excited to like see what they're doing with it. Um, so that's a really good thing, right? Ministry of Making. Hi there, by the way. Welcome. Welcome to the chat. Also, awesome that you made an account. Said, if there was a third CMF, which minifigure would you like to see? Um, Rita Skeeter, 100%. Um, I feel like I had this conversation recently with somebody. Maybe with you, maybe with... Definitely with somebody, but anyway. Oh, maybe with the floor is laggy, actually. Um, yeah, so definitely Rita Skeeter. Um, oh gosh, now I'm gonna obviously draw a blank. I feel like we really need a creature, but I, I'm hoping that maybe there's going to be a Grimmel Place set next year under the Deathly Hallows wave. Like, I really want a Grimmel Place. So I'm hoping for like a creature. That would be awesome. Um, I would like a Sirius Black, but in his like nice robes. Um, which I feel we probably aren't going to get anymore in, like, a normal set, so I feel like the CMF is a good place for him. Um, I would love a rendition of Igor Karkarov, because I feel like that's the one head master that's still missing and I could really do with him, an updated one of him. I know we got him once in, like, the um, Goblet of Fire range in, like, the Durmstrang ship, but um, he basically looked like a student, and when I had that said as a child, I literally thought he was a student, so um, I don't think he was done very well. So hopefully we're going to get an updated Karkarov at some point. Um, so yes. Who else? I feel like under pressure, this is too much for me to perform, but those are the characters I can think of off the top of my head. Maybe I'll just do a really great video at some point when I can think about it and write things down beforehand. But there's been some lovely, like, people talking about these things online, and when the second CMF was rumoured, there were obviously, like, articles speculating who was going to be in it, and they did, like, great renditions of it, so yeah, definitely definitely look for those. But there's so many more characters we can get, including Angelina Johnson, actually. Should have mentioned her straight away, but... If you were here earlier, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Lego Lensman, hi, yeah, I'm still saving up for Diagon. Yes, I know, it's so expensive. 
um, it's a, it's so worth it though. It's a, it's an absolutely amazing set. Um, I may have bought it on a massive whim on my birthday and then decided that I was only allowed to open it if I found a new job, um, which luckily I did because I don't know what else I would have done if I hadn't. But it's an absolutely amazing set. Like I can really recommend it. Surprisingly, who'd have thought I recommend the Diaconelli set? Total shocker. Um, what else is happening? Gosh, it's really hard to multitask. I feel like when I read, it's quiet, so like I'm not doing a good job, but I'll, um, I need to obviously keep up with what you guys are saying. <laughs> Simon Moss is saying, it's always nice when Lego releases sets you have no interest in, as it saves the money of the for the sets you do want. I do think that's really true and as much as that's like sort of like a comment that people throw about like oh well this is rubbish it's gonna save me so much money um in a way it's kind of nice because I remember like in December when we got on all the rumors of all the cool sets releasing not just Harry Potter but just like lots of other ones as well I was just like I have no idea how I'm going to possibly afford even half of this um so in a way kind of maybe it's just good to have the band reason you know and also just be honest with yourself like if the set if the set is something you actually don't really like and don't really have any interest in, just don't get it. Just get something else. There's so much. Anyway, that was a very serious answer to just an off the cuff comment, but <laughs> Oh, thank you. You're doing a great job. Oh. Thanks, Mrs. Brickin. It turns out I'm good at just rambling at myself. <laughs> um This is basically what happens when I film videos, I just talk at myself for an hour and then edit out all the ums. <laughs> Harry Potter. So you like building Lego of Harry Potter, I guess. I feel like that may have may have been a thing. Yeah, I do do quite enjoy the range, I have to say. Yeah, obviously. No, it's my it's my favourite range. It's what got me into Lego and um yeah. Basically why I started. I remember back in or in August, which is both an age ago and really not very long considering how much Lego I own now. Um basically yeah, I just was like, Oh, I'm just gonna rebuild the collection I used to have. That's just, that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to get anything else. I'm just going to stick to Harry Potter. <clears throat> Oops. That turn, that went out the window quick. Thank you, pandemic. But <laughs> so yeah, basically that's kind of where I'm at at the minute. I love, I love Lord of the Rings as well, but um, those sets, because of all the, I'm going to call them pandemic AFLs. <laughs> Everybody that's become massively into ha uh, Lego during the pandemic, like Lego Lord of the Rings is insane. So like a Harry Potter line is a brilliant line to focus on. And then, yeah, city is obviously my passion too. Harry Potter Mad said, hi everyone, what have I missed? You've not missed anything of absolute import, don't worry. I've just been talking about like the sets that are coming out um, in summer and like the, the rumors that I've been flowing around. Actually one set I haven't talked about, excellent moment is the rumoured Hogsmeade set, which I'm really excited for. Um, I've kind of dabbled in doing a few mocks of like Zonkos and um, Honey Dukes, and I absolutely like love doing that. They were at a like, crazy massive scale because basically when I designed, it, they were one of my f first few um, like projects that I did in Stud.io and I was like really optimistic because I was never gonna build them anyway. So they were all like minifigure scale to the point where, you know, all the Harry Potter sets are just a bit smaller than minifigure scale, like they fit in, but like the roofs are really close to the heads and stuff to save on bricks. But all my Zonko buildings were massive. So um, I'm I'm excited for the Hogsmeade sets and I'm really excited. I'm, I know that they're gonna be slightly um, smaller, but also I'm just like really, really looking forward to just seeing what they do with them. Um, I'm so thrilled that we're gonna get more Ros Mercer. Like I was not gonna see that. Also, the owners of Hog um, of Honey Dukes, like that's such a super obscure couple. Like that's so cool. Like I'm glad they're doing these characters, and it kind of proves like Lego does do them. So why can't we have all the Gryffindor students and all the? Basically, why can't I have all the figures, please? <laughs> Donald says modules are addictive, although I don't have any. Yeah, like modules are addictive. It's a bit bad. They're really fun to build, but they are so expensive, especially if you miss out on them and they retire and then you kind of just cry over the prices because I've definitely been wanting more um, of the older ones. I'm really, really lucky that I found an amazing deal on the Parisian restaurant. Again, Facebook marketplace, but um, yeah, they're so expensive. Um, one day, one day. 
Northwest. Brick says Hogsmeade would be awesome. Maybe we get more of the butter beer tangents. Yes. Oh, I hope so. I mean, we're getting the three broomsticks. I'm assuming they should include them. Surely. Surely. Um, it's an obvious thing to have included, so that'd be really nice. More is the more the merrier. Yes. The Ministry of Making is like, yes, we need we need a serious in his nice robes. And Donald's like, yes, Hogsmeade would be uh, would fit in lovely with your display. Oh, thank you. But I think it would be really nice to have that set. I think it's gonna be really fun. I I think I still have sort of a love-hate relationship with the Hogwarts set that they've been releasing over the last three years. Like, I don't mind them, but also I don't love them. I have them finally, actually, because for ages I had them sitting apart, but I finally have them all sitting together in my bottom display cabinet. It's just, I don't know, there's just something about them that, to me, I love all the individual interiors and I like... I like how it, you know, I like the idea of it, but I don't know, together it looks a bit odd. It's also the only set that I don't own, which is the Astronomy Tower of the Harry Potter line. I should probably add that in as a... I own many. I don't own any of the, like, other sets, but I mean, as from the um, Lego Harry Potter line, I don't own the Astronomy Tower, because I'm just a bit like... I like the minifigures, but yeah, the Hogwarts together is not my favourite thing. Anyway. Gosh, is... Oh, Tina is here! Hi, Tina! Hope you're alright. Rosie says, I'm planning on modifying the Hogsmeade set to make it larger, already collecting the bricks. Oh, that's brilliant! Yeah, for sure. Like, if you can start, like, collecting bricks slowly now, that's a great idea. And yes, like, I think there's been so many amazing, amazing mocks out there by, like, some really talented people, like, Scarlet Patronus, um, JL Bricks, like, everybody's coming out with these amazing things. I think Ben built Lego as well. Like, there's just so many talented people that are building mocks, it's amazing. So I think, you know, when, when a new set like that comes out, it's always kind of a bit scary to like, because Lego has a lot of like amazing mocks to follow, but it's cool. They, within like everything together, I think they're doing a good job, if that makes any sense what I just said. Anyway, I'm excited. That's what it boils down to. And yes, if you want to make it bigger, definitely start saving for like bricks and stuff. But I suppose depending on what you want, then yeah, maybe, um, Mocking it is possibly a good idea. Ooh, on the on the note of mocking, actually, if anybody follows JL Bricks on Instagram, his... By the way, I'm, this is just shout-outs because I love these people, by the way, they're so talented. But, um, his mocks of Diagon Alley, if you're like, oh, my Diagon Alley wasn't expensive enough, I must build more, honestly, check out his mocks. They're amazing. So, so good. Scarlet Patronus as well. There's so many awesome people out there. Sometimes I'm a bit overwhelmed, I just scroll through Instagram and I'm like, oh my gosh, all these talented people. <laughs> Super exciting though. Love love the love for love the love for Harry Potter Lego. Harry Potter Mad said, I really want a Nimbus 2000 mole broom, like in the Lego game. Hope they make it with the Quidditch set. Yes, that would be amazing. I never actually thought about it until I read some people talking about it. And I was like, oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. Like, yes, please. I think they made like the brooms more interesting in the um, Diagon Alley set where they added like the little spikes to it or whatever you call that piece. Um, also, bye Slim Jim Lego, thank you for coming. But yeah, I think they made them better by adding that piece to it to kind of give them more of a movie accurate look. But yeah, more the piece would be amazing. Somehow I kind of doubt it though, just because they didn't do it for the Quidditch supply store in Diagon Alley, which was like a massively expensive set. But we can hope. For sure. Simon said, when lockdown ends, are you going to join most of us and go to the Lego store? Oh my god, <laughs> yes. So basically, I've said at work already that the day that like the store is open, which is set to be the 12th of April, but, you know, with all this uncertainty around the virus, it may be, it might be pushed back, we don't know. But for the time being, I said to work, like, the day that shops open, I'm, I'm taking a day off because I need to go to the Lego store. So yes, <laughs> um, I may get a little bit overexcited. I'm really, basically, should probably not say this out loud, but basically what I should really want is the bookshop. So um, if my bank account doesn't scream at me too hard, I might buy that if it's in stock. Because <laughs> it's like literally not online ever. I've had like notifications on for like when it comes back into stock on Lego website for ages. And like I'll get a notification, I go online and they're gone already. It's like impossible to get hold of. Um... Brickpix Lego said, I was holding off mocking Gringotts, but I'll do it now. I think 
to be honest, I think we're still going to get a Gringotts. I'd be incredibly, incredibly surprised if we don't. I just don't think it's going to be this year. I think generally it will be next year. Obviously, if you go ahead and make your own Gringotts, that's not what I'm saying. Like, absolutely. It's an amazing building to have a go at. It's so beautifully detailed. But I think we will probably still get one. With, I mean, I have no authority saying that, of course. This is just my thoughts. But I would say I'd be incredibly surprised if you don't get it in the Deathly Hallows thing. Also, I would love to have a different dragon, by the way. A white dragon with this Gringotts set. So, yeah. These are my ones, basically. <laughs> um, what else is being said? Yes, everyone is thinking 2020 for Gringotts, says Rosie. Yeah, I think it's because everybody really wants this set so badly, so we're all like, oh no, not this year. It's fine. It's fine. It's coming next year. Guys, don't panic. <laughs> but one day, surely, you know, guys, like, it's such an iconic building and it fits in with Deadly House scene. Um, my god, I need a, I need a drink. But what are you guys, like, most excited about, about the range? Like, what do you think... What's your favourite set coming up? What are you most concerned about? I feel like that, that might be a landslide vote there, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> Rosa said, not sure if we already discussed, but wondering what everybody thinks of the buildables. I, 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 um, I may have touched on it, just slightly, by saying I'm terribly worried. I think that's probably the most divisive one that's being announced. I mean, obviously this is not being announced, sorry. My wording is incorrect. This has been rumoured um but yeah i think the buildable figures like why why just give me buildings please maybe they'll maybe they'll surprise me i keep saying that probably just to convince myself more than anything <laughs> yeah everybody's literally terrified of the buildables <laughs> Ooh. That'd be interesting. Simon basically said, Lego might throw a vote out on a choice of sets like they did with the Star Wars gunship last year. I was not aware of that. What happened with that? Because if they are throwing a vote out, that would be both incredibly divisive and slightly exciting. Also, can I choose between, like... Can I choose between Lego sets? I'm probably gonna just be sad that, like, the second option won't get made, but... I don't know, unless the second option is buildable figures. Harry Potter Mad said, what do you think about the new Great Hall set coming out? As I've been collecting the expansions, I'm frustrated because they could make it look more complete before remaking it so soon. I think that's kind of, we, we kind of talked about that really vaguely, isn't it? Like, because this is a legacy wave, it kind of feels really standalone. But if you've been collecting all these like Hogwarts set, it's going to feel really weird. And you're probably going to feel a little bit like cheated because they're both Hogwarts. But they're not compatible together. I do think though they're a very, they're very different type of set, and obviously the the one coming is going to be a throwback to the two thousand and one version, where it's like a small buildable Hogwarts with different color roofs, most most importantly. But yeah, it's it's a bit odd personally because the Great Hall is such a small part of it, and it's so much more focused on the on the um, Chamber of Secrets. I'm not that worried, but when I first heard about it, I was really confused and slightly surprised. Ethan says, I'm most excited about Moaning Muscle Bathroom. I'm excited for the Polyjuice Potion minifigures. Yes, which is an amazing point actually, because it means that we're gonna get Crab and Goyle. Yes, they'll have a dual molded face, I think, with um, Harry and Ron on the other side, but that means basically we get more Slytherin minifigures, which is excellent, because I don't feel we have them enough. And I've heard anyway that we're gonna get the Hermione with the cat face, which is super exciting, because that's kind of like a really cool minifigure I've wanted for ages. That's such an iconic look. I feel like we should have gotten like a happy Myrtle as well, but maybe maybe somebody custom will make one because we could just replace the head on the one we got from the CMF. Miles Miller says, do you think they are remaking the Hogwarts set by the new Great Hall and Chess Room? Basically what I think is what based Tommy C. Briggs explains perfectly in his video of it's, I think they're remaking the 2001 version of Hogwarts where all these sets are going to fit together to form one Hogwarts. <laughs> um, green. No green! Sorry. Yes, green. Elder Collection, I suppose there will be a buildable character collectors. 
building character. Ah, sorry, I'm so terrible at reading things out loud. Basically, I've read your comment, Algo. <laughs> There's so many collectors, it's going to be hard to keep track of. And so, and it's hard to keep everyone happy. Yes, it's impossible to keep everyone happy. Especially because everybody wants different things. On, on, like, the topic of figures, I guess I haven't really spoken about that yet. But yes, I'm really excited about the golden figures. And initially the rumours were like, there's going to be a few. And now there seems to be, like, loads. So... I'm like making space on my whiteboard to have a golden Harry Potter section, it's so exciting. I know it's like a massive gimmick and it's a bit like, some people love it, some people hate it, but come on, like, golden minifigures of my favourite characters. I'm down for this. So excited for Gold's bathroom. I love how much, like, love Moni Myrtle's bathroom is getting, that's perfect. It's a really small set as well, this is going to be really, uh, it's going to be a good year. <laughs> but it's really pretty. Agree. It's, it's a really good potential set with some really strong minifigures, for sure. What's your favourite Hogwarts combination of sets? Ooh, what do you mean? Like, how you put the Hogwarts together? Or, like, what my favourite set is? Um, Ray Farth? Finns, what, what do you think of the other 2021 sets? What do you think the other 2021 sets will be? Well, obviously, there's only two, I think, that I'm currently not really sure about. I think there may be a poly bag or like um, promotion as well as the one last year. I think that was probably going to also be a gift with purchase set for when the really big 250 one, 250 pound one comes out. Um, obviously, there's going to be brickheads. Let me actually get my list again. These are rumors. I am no, I am not the source of these. I'm just relaying what I've heard. But yeah, so two brickheads, which is very exciting. I think they're singular ones. I love brickheads. They're my fave. Um, I actually had all of the brickheads of Harry Potter that they released before I got back into collecting Harry Potter properly. So yeah, I think so far we, we the rumours are the girls' bathroom, the forbidden corridor with Bilbo Fluffy, which is exciting. I really hope we're going to get Neville in pyjamas. That would be excellent because in the book Neville is there when they first meet Fluffy. Then we've got ha going to have Hogsmeade Village, Hogwarts Castle, which I think is the Chamber of Secrets Great Hall combination, the advent calendar, which, I mean, we saw that coming. The theme for the advent calendar seems a bit boring. Um, a buildable forks, which is going to be a love it or hate it thing for me. The buildable figs, which um, I feel like I've expressed my feelings on that. And the Hogwarts moment flying class. Actually, we haven't talked about that yet, have we? Hogwarts moment, randomly out of nowhere, which is where why we've been seeing, like, um, Madam Hooch flying around. Haha, <laughs> pen not intended. That's terrible. Um... So yes, that kind of seems to be what's coming, but the Hogwarts moment seems to be really random. And I'm kind of unsure about the Hogwarts moments. They, um... If I was planning mocks, or I was doing mocks of these classrooms, they would be useful, because I'm not, they seem to be a bit... random. So thank you, Simon. He likes the Parisian restaurant in the background with lights. I thought that would look cosy for the stream. I hope so anyway. I love it. I sit here in the evening sometimes with like a cup of tea just staring at my city and just pretending all these minifigures to be alive like... like a completely normal person. <laughs> Have to go. Great stream, Johanna. Oh, thank you so much, Brightest Bitch Breaks. Thank you so much for joining me and like giving so many good questions. That's been really helpful. Thanks. Siobhan, I'm really sorry if I'm going to say your name wrong, but could I get a shout out? Here it is. I'm sorry. <laughs> What else is going on? We'd need more Harry Potter movies to provide more context to make sets from. Ooh, interesting. In a way, yes, that would be nice. But then also, I'm thinking back to the Fantastic Beast movies, which um, do not have my heart. I mean, they were entertaining. You know, they were the backdrop of my first date. But also, no, <laughs> I I don't know about them. Um, and also, if they were to release sets based on it, because I think there's going to be a third one, probably next year. I think if they were going to release sets of it, I probably won't necessarily get them. Depending on what they build, because it might be a really nice building on its own. I have bought the um, Thestral carriage, because I thought I can use that carriage as like the carriage that it's used to get from the station to Hogwarts, but I'm not really interested in the Fantastic Beasts one. Foo says, whoa, you're streaming! I know, right? Who am I? <laughs> um... Oswaldo says, which modular set would you like to get next? Well, 
I have just said I would love to get the bookshop next. Um, it's my favourite at the minute. I mean, I love the police station and I really like the look of the police station and the bookshop, but because of my random extension that you can't really see, basically where the private driver is sitting here is where I have room to now put the bookshop modular. And I'm going to have a mocked monkey kid building next to it that's like a ramen shop. So that's the plan. Um, as I said, this is what I'm planning to buy when the shops reopen on the 12th of April, if they do. Um, my wallet has not yet been informed, please do not share this information. <laughs> With my wallet, I mean obviously it's my money, but yeah. Um... Aw, oh, nothing wrong with that, you need to, if you spend a lot of money on it, you need to make it to feel happy. Yes, yes, it does make me very happy. I love this Lego. Who else is like, finding Lego just the perfect escape from this pandemic and just like this really nice way to sort of just like leave all your worries at the door and just build some nice buildings and, and create a city where Covid does not exist. <laughs> okay. Miles, yes! Oh, he says, he, um, I hope we'll get Thestrals in the new sets. Me too! They're so good! I love their design as well, we just haven't got enough of them. So I was a bit too late to that, because I obviously only got back into Har um, Lego in general in August, so I was a bit too late for that wave, but I probably would have loved to buy a second carriage, because they weren't very expensive and the Thestral model is just... But I don't know, I, I very much doubt we're going to get more. Do you have more space to expand your collection into? Um, well, Simon, um, I will find space, so <laughs> hopefully. Basically, this is a rented house, so I can't like build, put too many holes in the walls because if I did, I could put shelves up. But um, it's fine. As I said, I find space magically. Like you buy the thing, and all of a sudden, like oh, turns out I can fit it in. Mostly, maybe around me on the table where I normally build. That's definitely filling up. <laughs> Rosie says that's that's exactly why I started with HP Lego. Yeah, I feel like I've spoken to quite a lot of people on Instagram who are like, oh my gosh, yeah, Lego has been such a perfect escape just to kind of um, leave all this stress and uncertainty of like the real world behind because let's be honest we all really needed that um similar to <laughs> i think similar story to um again this is all just massively sidetracked but similar story to when um, mrs brick in it and um and then we were meant to get married like last year but the pandemic has just like completely thrown all our plans so now we're just kind of like will we even get married who knows we'll find out this pandemic's just been one downward slide of stress and uncertainty, but it's okay because now I have Lego. <laughs> um, what Hogwarts house is, what Hogwarts house that is? Hmm. Oh, what Hogwarts house are you in? Well, I am in Gryffindor anyway, that's what I think. I've done the quiz like twice, that's basically what came out. I think that's probably right. People used to say, I don't know where I'm divulging all this information, but um, <laughs> When I was 18 I moved from the Netherlands to England because basically I decided that I wanted to live in this country because I loved it. I feel like the older I get the more doubts I have about that decision, but anyway that's a completely different story. It's a beautiful country though, and the people here are wonderful so that's okay. But um, yes, yeah, so I used to be called brave a lot and I was like I don't know if I am, that seems pretty crazy, but I suppose that sort of fits with the Gryffindor image. Again, massive random tangent. Ooh, okay, so he said, um, I meant which area of Hogwarts sets is your favourite to combine early 2000, um, 2010s, 18 to present? So I'm assuming to, like favourite one to collect. So actually, I'm not sure. I feel like I have the most nostalgia for the 2004 sets because that's when I, as a child, got the set. So I had, I don't know if you can see actually, I had that Hogwarts castle. I've made a video on that one and I had the Hagrid's Heart, and they were my absolute favourite sets, I was incredibly proud of them. I have some nostalgia for the 2001 sets, and I did have the Durmstrang ship as well, but that was towards the end of my interest in Lego. But yeah, I feel like I have to say 2004, because like, I feel like those are like the sets I'm collecting, because I want to restore the collection I used to have as a child, which I stupidly sold. Um, but I'm finding a lot of joy in the 80, uh, 2018 plus sets, because they have such a different calibre, they have so many details, they're so, there's so many easter eggs in them, there's so many details, there's so many lovely movie interiors, so yeah, I'm really loving that sort of style of Lego, so I feel like 2004 for the nostalgia, 2018 like onwards, like modern time Lego for like the detail, because oh my god, they've come a long way. 
Miles is saying I'd like to have all the Hogwarts sets together, but I'm going to need a bigger shelf if I'm going to connect the new ones to it too. Oh my god, yeah, I know, right? Like, I, basically I said I don't have the astronomy tile, but also, like, I literally have no room for them, so yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'll get them like, if they're on discount or something. But yeah, it gets really weirdly long. Maybe you have to, like, stack them, see what happens. Just mock them in something cool. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Tina. <laughs> Basically, I feel like I've been talking for an hour. Um, I'm very honoured that you all gave me your time. Thank you so much for joining the stream. That was absolutely fantastic. Um, I may have to do this again. Um, maybe with more water, because <laughs> my voice is so tired. But this is really awesome, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And um, yeah, basically, I'll hopefully be uploading a video soon. There's some stuff in the pipeline, but I am obviously like love talking to you guys. This is great to have some bit of interaction instead of me just waffling on about random stuff so I think I'm going to leave it here but I'm 100% gonna do this again it was absolutely fantastic so thank you so much have a wonderful day stay safe out there love the lego and I will see you guys later bye I do need a cup of tea <laughs>